Here's a lovely A-level quadratics question. We might call it a modelling with quadratics question because it's not just about quadratic equations, it's been applied to some sort of real life context. And part of the difficulty here is interpreting these con this context, reading all of these words here and figuring out what it wants us to do. Let's give that a go now. We've got the graph showing the trajectory of a rugby ball. The height of the ball above the ground, h metres, has been plotted against the horizontal distance, measured from the ball point where the ball was kicked. I think that's fairly intuitive. We've got height upwards and horizontal distance over here, so it's kicked here and it like goes wee and hits the ground a bit. Right. Uh, the ball passes over a horizontal bar of a set of rugby posts. The bar is three metres above the ground. So a set of rugby posts looks something like this. And we've got the bar is three metres above the ground. OK, let's put all of that onto the diagram. We've got the maximum height is 12 metres. I won't bother writing metres because it's all going to be in metres. Uh, it hits the point distance of 40 metres along, and it passes over a bar of a rugby post that's three metres above the ground. OK. Find the greatest possible distance, horizontal distance, of the rugby posts from O. That implies to me that the rugby posts could be placed in different positions if we're looking for the greatest horizontal distance. So let's have a think about that. I've drawn it here. But why did I draw it here? All I know is that the ball goes over the rugby posts. I could have drawn it here or here or anywhere. So we're looking for the greatest horizontal distance that it could be. Well, that'll be when the ball just scrapes over the posts there. We're looking for this one here, the distance away from it. How am I going to get that? Well, that's the point where the curve goes through this coordinate here that's three metres up. In order to plug that coordinate into an equation, I need an equation. That's what I need. I need the equation of that curve so that I can find where the curve is three metres above the ground. Now you've got all that set up, pause the video, if you haven't had a go yourself already, pause the video and see if you can find the equation of this curve before I do. Right, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to label on some coordinates here that I know that the curve goes through. It definitely goes through 0, 0. It goes through 0 along... No. Nope to the way around, 40 along and zero up, and it goes through, well the maximum height is going to be exactly halfway between them because it's the symmetry of quadratics, so that's 20 along and 12 up. I reckon I can use those three coordinates to find my equation, especially since two of them are on the axes, because the equation of a quadratic, if it's written in double brackets, The bits in here are the roots of the quadratic. So I can plug those in straight away because the roots here are 0 and 40. That quadratic there will have these roots. We still need to make it the correct height. And we can do that. Think about that transformations of quadratics, stretching this up and down and making it happy and sad. We do that with a value outside, timesing it all. Let's simplify that up a bit. So we've got y equals a, this bit's just x, and x minus 40. We can find out what a is by plugging this coordinate in. So we plug in, uh, that's 12 up is a times 20 times 20 minus 40, negative 400a. Divide both sides by negative 400. And we get, so for this fraction, negative 3 hundredths. Put all that together, and I think we've got the equation of our curve. Y equals negative 3 over 100 
times x times x minus 40. We could check that by plugging these points in, plugging this in again to see whether it actually goes through it. I'm fairly confident with that though, so I'm not going to leave that for now. That is the equation of my curve. That'll have got me lots of marks in the exam. I'm not quite finished yet. I've got to actually answer the question. Greatest possible horizontal distance. We've got to find the distance here so that it's three metres up. We've got to plug this three metres in and solve it. So where is this curve three metres high? That there, we could simplify and solve that quadratic to find this. I think I'm going to leave that to you because that's just some quadratics work now. I think we've done all of the trickiest bit. This quadratic will have two solutions to it. So I'm also going to leave it to you to figure out which of those solutions is the one that we want. And maybe what the interpretation of the other solution is. We definitely only want one solution. It's one of them and there's a reason it comes up with two. See if you can figure that out. Quick mention of part B about give a reason why your value might differ from the actual value in real life. Sometimes people think these are, are, like overcomplicate them. No, just think about stuff that we haven't taken into account. Like an answer would be we haven't taken into account air resistance on the ball or wind or the spin of the ball or um, the ball's actually got a size and so wouldn't go directly through the bar as we've imagined here. Stuff like that. Any of those would get you a mark in an exam. All right, good luck finishing that off.